Hey guys, we're the Disney Gremlins. I'm Chase. This is my handsome brother Cody. We're back with another D23 announcement video. Uh, it's going to continue our series about all the new announcements, uh, new releases um, from D23 Expo. This video is going to be about the new Tron roller coaster coming to the Magic Kingdom. Okay, so I'll start with saying that I think this is the thing that I'm most excited about. And I think that that's because the Star Wars Resort odds are gonna, is gonna be so expensive. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know when we'll, hope, I mean, ideally, hopefully we'll be able to stay there soon, but we don't know like how much it's gonna be. Like, it just seems like it's so far away. Tron also, I mean, it's not even, Disney has, all it says it's gonna be here by the 50th anniversary, which is 2021. So, we really don't know when Tron's gonna be here. We really don't know when the Star Wars Resort Hotel is gonna be here either. But I think just because I know that when Tron opens, we're going to get there, we're gonna ride it. Mm -hmm. As opposed to, I don't really know when we're gonna stay at the Star Wars Resort. Obviously, the Star Wars Resort being something I'm super excited about, I just think that this may be a little more realistic. So I think that like that's why yeah. my expectations are so high. Okay. Um, and I mean, Magic Kingdom just got a lot better, and that's hard to do with Magic Kingdom. I agree. It just got the number one attraction from Shanghai Disneyland, so that's saying a lot. Magic Kingdom already had so many good attractions. The It had both quality and quantity, and... And again, well, real quick, just because of that, we're getting both. We're getting both quantity and quality. Yes. You know, I think a lot of people um, thought that this is going to be replacing the Speedway. Um, again, except for somebody that's sitting behind his desk. It was, um, it was the good looking Kremlin. Um, so obviously me. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I edit these videos. You're right? adorable. I'm just kidding. I'm the one that edits this. Oh, I can take that out. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I like, like I said, it didn't really make sense that we we're going to be taking away an attraction that always seems to have 30 minute plus lines to put another attraction. Um, so based on the concept part, you can see right here, um, the Speedway is here to stay. Um, it's going behind the Speedway to the left of Space Mountain. And right now that walkway right there is actually a smoking area um, for guests, I believe. So, um, you know, there's not already a walkway there. They won't have to build that. Um, I'm not sure where the new smoking area will be. Um, doesn't really bother us because we don't really smoke. So it'll be interesting to see what Disney does with that. Um, another thing I'm really interested to see what Disney does with is the train. Because obviously the train is an attraction that, I mean, that's a Disney World ride that is never going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that was a big question. In the concept art, you can see the train to the left of the Tron ride. Um, now, if you were to zoom in on this, um, you can see that the train track actually goes underneath the Tron ride um, and out by Space Mountain, like on the same normal track. So, I'm gonna be really curious to see, A, does railroad stay open during the construction? Uh, B, the, how do they theme that? Yeah. That's gonna be interesting to see. Um, but those are just minor details. The railway staying, the speedway staying, the people mover staying, and all those three things are staying. That's a plus. We're getting a ride in Magic Kingdom that's just gonna take away from the lines and crowds of other attractions. And it's an easy attraction that obviously in Magic Kingdom where you have historic rides like Haunted Mansion and um, Small World and Peter Pan, and then you also have historic I guess you could still consider historic, but also really popular rides like um, Space Mountain and um, Jungle Cruise and rides like that. It, I don't want to, you know, step on the toes of any of those rides, but I think Tron's going to be a, a favorite attraction for a lot of people. Um, so when you're getting that high quality of an attraction, it's really something to get excited and, about. And you said a lot about it's going to benefit in the long run especially with not getting rid of Speedway, but it also helps the short term because if you were closing the Speedway, that's just 
more people with less attractions to go to. I mean, right. it's not that big of a deal, but I mean, it's more construction. You see, I don't know. To me, it bothers me when I see construction at Disney World. I know they're doing something great with it, but at the same time, it's like, oh, like that looks right. weird, especially in a place like Tomorrowland. So, good news is, real the raceway staying perfect. No one's keeps everyone happy. Uh, keeps little kids happy. I know they all love they love the that ride. And so you don't now. Hopefully, Snow White, uh, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train line goes down. Maybe now, hopefully, Peter Pan's ride goes down. So all of that, every it has an impact on all of that. And it just looks super cool in Tomorrowland, especially this nighttime picture that they that uh, Disney Parks blog has up. I mean, it just looks really, really cool. It looks really futuristic. Fits the place perfect. I agree. I don't think they could have uh, done a better job. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they could have picked a better ride to put in Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. um, also, you knew something was happening because Carousel Progress hasn't really had anything done to it forever. Um, you know, they repainted the whole outside of Carousel Progress. They put in um, like a Joffrey's coffee with shop. With the little futuristic right. light. Look to it. Yeah. Outside. I think most likely also something you'll see is after the 50th probably is you're going to get drawn open and then you're going to see like um, the speedway probably closed and be refurbished. Um, maybe even go to like electric cars or something like that. I mean, I, I think if it survived the Tron coaster, I think it's probably going to survive, and I think it's, it's, gonna be it's here, here to stay. It's going to be here for a good while. Yeah, so now I wouldn't put past them to renovate it and yeah. you know, make it more modern. Um, I don't think they're going to change it. Yeah. Like, right. change the theme. Of right, it. exactly. Exactly. So, um, you know, I'm super excited about it. I mean, I'm super excited about all these things. Like, I think in my mind, I was like, okay, probably two things like of this magnitude are going to be announced, and we got four of them. Ride wise, ride wise, not including, not even including the Star Wars Hotel, mm -hmm. um, and, and some of the other things like or, the gondola ride yeah. or the or gondola Disney, or things. the Mission Space, restaurant. right, or the Mission Space restaurant, like not including so many other details. So to get all of these, it's just got me so excited. Can't wait to go to the parks. And it's going to be a quick turnaround. Like everything's going to be done by 2021. So I'm super excited. Okay. All I got. Yeah. All Can't right. wait. Can't wait for 2021. It's gonna be. Amazing. I know. Me too. And it's gonna be a completely different Disney World. And also, four years from now, and also, that's crazy to think about. Also, I'm I'm glad you brought that up because I kind of wanted to put this in too. Is that for me, like being a big Disney fan, is it's cool to not okay. I'm with you. Like I hate when everything's under construction, but at the same time, it's cool. I think it's gonna be so awesome to like be able to like talk to you know our future kids or like future Disney fans or current Disney fans even and like reminisce on the days when we're like hey we knew Hollywood Studios when there were four rides or we were here but we were here for the Canadian Lumberjacks we were here for the one yes. season of Canadian Lumberjacks bring them back Disney please um, I need more Lumberjacks I agree you know, we're, like, we should push for that hashtag bring back the Lumberjacks yes. We need to start. Playing. We miss you. Um, but I mean, I think it's just super cool. Like, I mean, this is Disney history taking place in front of our very eyes. You know, I think a lot of people uh, that are probably watching this are really into Walt Disney and the history of Disney World and the history of Disneyland. Like, we're living history right now. Because um, I mean, look at the look at how many changes there were prior to like Pandora. Like there wasn't really a whole lot going on, and now especially not I, rethinking whole new lands like right. Star Wars and Toy Story. Right. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So um, I'm and, super excited. And now like it's like the future is just like because the Star Wars resort is like the the on uh, the Disney Park blog said it was like the the first, uh, it was like, it's kind of like the a test new, run. Right, kind of. for the new Disney yeah. 360. So record. that could be the future. I we agree. have a Marvel ride coming, right. which that's confusing everyone, but that may be the future of Disney World, so who knows. I agree. I think that also there was a lot of 
people that thought, oh, well, Disney can't really expand a whole lot. And then Disney because we're was like, And then Disney said, yeah. and that. here you go. Um, it's also definitely going to be interesting, like we mentioned in a lot of these videos, to see how Universal responds to these. I don't, I, I can only think of one response, and that's got to be Jurassic Park World or Land. There's or like a whole movie series about why that's a bad idea. I understand. And you're going to make one about the movie series. But it's, no, I'm just, I love it. I love it. Only Especially, I mean, I think people sleep on what Universal's capable of. I mostly agree, but you have to realize the top three grossing films of all time. I mean, Gone with the Wind may be in there too, I don't remember. But, like, two, like, heavy hitters, like, top of all time are Avatar and Shrek. And no, Shrek. I'm just kidding. A lot of people don't like Shrek, Shrek. for some reason. Yes. I thought it was good. Um, so, I mean, like, you know, I don't know what intellectual property Universal could use to top this. Um, but I'm super excited, and I'm super excited about all the things that are coming to Walt Disney World. I'm super excited for the future. Um, so let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about the Tron coaster in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, be sure to like all our other videos, check all our other uh, videos out, follow us on Instagram, we're the Disney Criminals, and until next time, Quaharini everybody. Quaharini.